Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play some Radiant Historia. Um, <clears throat> where we left off, we just took down that giant spider, and we're about to talk to Garland. Uh, That's right. hey. Now, just a moment, what are you doing with that woman? We had her locked inside the prison. That's it, I figured it out. I knew this woman had a familiar look to, about her. <laughs> what an unexpected bounty. There's no mistaking it. This woman is none other than Princess Erica. You mean she's the Princess Erica of Tranor? <laughs> that is correct. We've stumbled on quite a trunk card. Our conference with Sir Diaz is drawing near. Princess Erica is his political enemy. If we hand her over to him... Gladiator dog, it isn't your place to decide such matters. You can't mean that. My words weren't clear enough? Huh? Nay! Huh. Ernst, you've really impressed me. And thank you for taking down that hell spider in my stead. I think I've come to a decision. To hell with entertaining Diaz! Huh? If you're with Princess Erica, then you've chosen to side. And I'd rather side with you than with Diaz. We were going to meet to discuss the political obstacles, but he's always looked down on us mercenaries, like he's so high and mighty. I hate him, although I suppose it's more than that. I don't like Granorg's entire regime. Hell yeah, Garland. Chapter 5 of the Standard History, Victory. Let's go. Stock, were you awake? Did you need me? King Garland's calling for you. I'll be along to see him shortly. 
It's just he seemed like he was in a hurry, so I think he should go soon. Okay, see ya. What's happening? A lot of, a lot of talking. A lot of chitter chatter. I'm glad the city was saved. You said this place was important to you somehow. I lived here a long time ago, back before I met Mark. You know how there's tons of mercenaries here? Most of them are drifters from cities that are dead now. Dead cities. Ones that got dragged into fights between Alistel and Granorg. The war raged on an awful long time, with nobody giving a second thought to the civilians there. Most of the people who lost their homes drifted into sickness, since it was neutral ground. <laughs> You're looking at one of them. My mom and dad died protecting me during a battle. I drifted all over the place with the rest of the adults afterward. And wherever we went, I got treated like a big burden. But not here. The people of sickness accepted me right away. Because they'd all gone through similar ordeals. Probably so. Everyone had each other's back. It sounds bad when you call it a city of drifters. But I think a lot of people, when they got here, felt safe for the first time. It's like a second chance at a homeland. Long story short, I was really happy when you said you'd protect this city. Thanks, Stock. <laughs> Not like me to get all touchy-feely. You don't do so well with thank yous, do you? You don't seem like the type who would. Okay, enough about the past. We gotta hurry and go see King Garland. <laughs> There you are, Stark. You wanted to talk to me. Uh, it's about Diaz. Didn't you cancel your audience with him? No. I decided to meet with him after all. What's going on here? Don't be so defensive, Stark. Hear me out first. I am going to see him, but that doesn't mean he'll get a warm welcome. It sounds like you have a plan. He got nowhere trying to crush the resistance before, which means he's headed this way because he's desperate. If so, I have a pretty good idea what tack he'll take. He'll claim to want to parlay, but he'll come in force. I'm sure he'll bring his best units in the guise of bodyguards and rob Cygnus blind. People that dangerous mustn't be allowed into the city. First you say you'll meet with him, and now you won't let him in the city. Which is it? Oh, I'm meeting with him. But I'm going to do it in the northern Atolia wasteland. It's a long way off. Are you trying to shield Cygnus from any danger? Partly that. Partly because Erica is here. It wouldn't be wise to let any Granorgites too near. But partly, it's something else, too. The whirlwinds of the northern Atolia wasteland. <laughs> whirlwinds? The spot I chose sees a lot of them. And 
One will be kicking up there before long. <sighs> I'm surprised you know this. Without getting into specifics, since it's a handy thing to have in a pinch, there are signs. But back on the subject, we're going to take advantage of the whirlwinds to strike at Dion's. Well, I understand the plan now. But why did you call for me? I want you to protect Cygnus while I'm away. After that business with the Hell Spider, the people trust you. You have what it takes. Won't you do it? Before I answer, I want to know something. You're determined now to take down Diaz. So why did you initially plan on welcoming him as a guest? Ah, I see. You're wondering if I have a hidden agenda. Fair enough. The answer's simple. I was playing politics. If we had a little support, a lot of things would become easier for us, even if it meant getting that support from Grandma. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. He had to look look out for his people. So if if that meant siding with really evil people, he had to do it. But since w the opportunity presented itself that I was here with Erica, you know, he sided with the good guys. Now it's your turn. Oh, I want to. I want to go instead. Yeah. Garland's the ruler of Cygnus. We can't let him take unnecessary risks. I'm sorry, but we can't. What? Not even for me? Let me explain. It's in Cygnus's best interest that its king isn't exposed to danger. You should wait in Cygnus for as long as possible. We'll go on ahead to the meeting spot. What? You're willing to step into danger yourself? I guess that's just how I am. Stop! I like you more and more. <laughs> right, Me and Garland, we like we out. like spirit spirit animals. We just like we got that tank feeling. We're like lions. We're we're brothers in in this battle. Like we clash and we drink at night. <laughs> the next day in northern Italia wasteland. Excuse me, you should know that King Garland fears you. He believes something terrible will happen if he lets you inside the city of Cygnus. And you are. <laughs> My name is Hedge. I was King Garland's assistant for many years, though that relationship ended a few days ago. What business have you with me? <laughs> I have information for sale, information about King Garland. Unless I miss my guess, you weren't able to stamp out the resistance the way you wanted. Your position is at stake. So to prove your worth, you're trying to win King Garland to your side. It's either that or kill the king and establish your own regime in sickness. So, did I guess well? I don't follow. This is no tall tale. I'm sure that if you choose, if you chose, you could make it a reality. That's why I think my information could prove very useful. Surely you just, I need to be compensated first. Well. <laughs> Nearly, but not quite. This information is worth a fortune. If you insist. Now, what is this priceless information? <laughs> There's a certain VIP in the company of King Garland now. None other than Princess Erica. The very same. She's now a traitor to her homeland, as I understand it. She's joined forces with King Garland together. They plan to invade Granorg. I had presumed the princess's transgressions to be a silly little game of yours, but... Well... With Cygnus in its current state, I doubt they'll respond favorably to the meeting. In fact, I'd assume they'll aim to use this in conference as a means to eliminate you. What you think to be a parlay will soon become a battlefield. Out of concern. 
concern for Princess Erica. <laughs> oh no. It's possible that King Garden may not even make an appearance. You seem to be satisfied with your purchase. Now, as to my price. Very kind of you. What are you doing? This wasn't what you promised? There will be only one class of peasant I will buy. Do you know which? No, who? Gutter rats like you. Ain't no more, please. Uh. Deploy soldiers to sickness. Put them on the watch for any movement by Garland. Once we have disposed of them, sickness will surely fall. Archers! Ready the usual. We'll demonstrate to these desert folk the terrible might of the Dion's knights. Hey! Hold on. We're going to be fighting a big group, right? Are you crazy? Trying to attack with so few of us? What's the matter, Ricky? You're awfully timid. How are you going to gonna beat those guys? Whether plains, deserts, or wilderness, as a tactic suited to it, sure. We'll be outnumbered, but we'll have the geographical advantage. But that won't be enough to help things go our way, will it? There's more we can count on. A whirlwind's coming soon. And it will pass directly over the meeting spot. So, nature itself is on our side. There are many ways to fight a battle against men, but nothing can hope to win a battle with nature. That's right. Though, we're still up against Granorg's soldiers. It won't be an easy fight. But it must be fought regardless. So enough belly aching. You'd better get ready. Yeah. Our main gotcha. force will be staying in sickness until the last minute to catch the enemy off guard. Stark, your men will pressure their forces so they don't stray from the meeting spot. All right. We'll lower their numbers as much as we can until your main force arrives. Erica, you'll wait here. What? I won't do no such thing. We're up against Dios. It's too dangerous for you to go near him. I appreciate the concern, but I don't believe I'm so weak. Still. And if I beat Diaz and his men, it will be a show of strength for the resistance. I'd say it's a necessary step to dethrone my stepmother and take back my country. <laughs> She's got you beat, Stock. <laughs> she does. If we force her to stay and she ends up following us anyway, that'll be even worse for us. Best that she's somewhere we can keep an eye on her. Then I guess it's settled. But I will expect you to obey orders in the field. Of course. Thank you. Is everything ready then? I'm entrusting Princess Erica to you, Stark. I'll be leaving here before the whirlwind happens. We'll launch it. Good luck to you, King Garland. And the same to you. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm pumped. The time has finally come. We're facing Diaz. And I doubt he'll make a move without a plan of his sleep. Probably not. But we've got our own trick of our sleeve with the ambush and all, right? Plus, Cygnus is going to be pulling a whirlwind out of their hat for the finishing touch. True. This is a war after all. Let's trust in King Garland's plan and our own strength. So? Are you coming with us after all, Princess? Naturally, if it's Diaz we face. All the more reason I mustn't cower and hide. I'm coming too. Had a feeling you'd... All right. But if you ever feel like you're in serious... Understood. Leave it to me. My <sighs> stock's like, God. <sighs> Why are those guys here? Was it the meeting spot on the north side of the wasteland? So they always planned on attacking. Still, they're way ahead of the game. They know. About everything. But how? What was that? Oh no! Fire! Over there! No! A sickness! How could they? Stock! Right. We need to return to sickness. Garland! Oh no. Look, Stock! It's King Garland! Huh? 
Looks like the end of the line, Garland. We'll kill you and that Brad. Yeah, Rainy. <laughs> she makes she makes anyone quake in their boots. Wait, wait just a sec. Here, peace offering. Please, let us go. Bloodied armlet. It belonged to one of your strategists or someone. Could he be talking about Hedge? Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. He sold sickness out. That's right, he was talking on and on about you guys. After he'd spilled his guts, well, he spilled his guts. I got the armlet from his corpse. The Diaz Knights must have fallen on hard times if they're looting corpses. Hmm. High Colonel Diaz would never stand for such behavior. I snuck it off the corpse when he dumped it in the desert. See, the amazing craftsmanship, isn't it? Go on, look at it. This craftsmanship matches the armlet hedge war. <laughs> Now's our chance. Your people are safe. Yes, Stark. What will you do? I have something to take care of. All right. You seem to have some sort of plan in mind. Be careful. This must be difficult for you, Stark. I didn't think they would target Cygnus directly. They knew about the plan. That's why they ignored us and went for Cygnus. So then, what will you do now? First, let me ask something. This armlet belonged to Hedge. Is a Chronicle's holder involved with his betrayal and death? That's right. The presence of the Black Chronicle can still be felt here. Then it's simple. I'll prevent Hedge's betrayal before it happens. That should do nicely. The armlet will come in handy for that. Hedge's own possession, huh? Nothing will prove his death more concretely. Well then, Stock, take care. Art. Them again. Could those two be? All right. Let's go. We're going to um, a new alliance. Where are we going? She cried a warrior. A new battle. Desert City Messiah. Warlord's Request. Okay. I think it's here, right? It's not this. I screwed that up. This is the exact same timeline. I'm so confused. Maybe back to this one?
Oh, here we go. Damn, damn, damn. Where did I go wrong? Curse you, Garland. You'll live to regret banishing me. You. You're probably on your way to sell Garland out to Diaz, but what's waiting for you there isn't worth it. Hand it over the bloody armlet. <laughs> this is—it's my armlet. Why do you have it? What? Why is it covered in blood? It's proof that I can see into the future, and the death of people like you is especially clear. What was that? This can't be. It's not possible. Why? If it's not possible, then how do you explain the armlet? But if you don't value your life, why not keep heading towards Diaz and try your luck? <laughs> I. That should do it. Based on what Lipty said, Hedge isn't supposed to die here. Guess that means I don't need to bother finishing him off. Huh? <laughs> You've returned. I'm the dangerous. A new can't let us. Just in case. Okay. Um oh. Okay, so now if we go to the war warlord's request lead the way. This should play out differently. No sign of the enemy. Looks like I managed to prevent Hedge from betraying us. What's the matter, Stock? Oh, just making a quick survey for any enemies. Left. But never mind that. Ott, Erica, if you want to head back, now's your chance. No, I can't shirk my duty. I won't run either. Very well. You two have really got guts. I've been resolved to see this through. Ever since I joined the resistance, this is a small but necessary step from a mere revolt to a true battle. You sure? Very. The Diaz Knights should be in the northern area of the wasteland. Let's go. Let's do this. Ooh. It's an ambush. What? Ballistas. I can't believe they're here. Diaz's bowmen must have brought them along. If they had such large scale weapons ready to go, then they were planning to attack Cygnus from the start. Either way, we must do something about the ballistas. If we don't, the main forces from Cygnus won't be able to advance. They'll find us more slippery than they expected. The main force will be sitting ducks. Right, we gotta dodge these things and keep going. The arrows are coming from the west. We need to find and destroy those ballistas and be cautious of the arrows. Alright, alright. Let's go. Not only are the ballista shots still incoming, but the path is blocked. I can worry about this later, though. For now, I should focus on stopping the ballista fire. Alright, it's coming from this way. Go, 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 go. There it is. And there's another one. All right. Let's destroy them. Okay. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Heck yeah, I won't lose. Heat blade. G fire. And uh Speed break. Those things are gone. Oh, 
go, let's go, let's go. to know more. Of course, they, they're not going to mess up their whole order. But I can still hit you guys, which works. Uh, burn you. No, I didn't mean to both hit him. Damn it. You only needed stocks hit. That was my bad. <laughs> Reporting in High Colonel. About that, the ballistas that the bowmen to the west brought have been destroyed. At once. How dare you. Eastern ones now too. But the boulders are still in our way. Even if Garland and his men get here, we're stuck. We have no choice. Let's go back for now. Garland. Garland? What are you doing here? You're not up until later. I've brought you guys a present. Ooh, the bombs. So we can get by those boulders. I got word from my men. Those bastards set up boulders to block your way. It doesn't matter how strong you are if you can't get near the enemy. Jeez. What were you going to do if you got attacked carrying those explosives out here? <laughs> you can't expect me to sit back and watch while you guys march into danger. Let's hold off the odds up north. <laughs> Our surprise will be showing up soon. <laughs> so the whirlwind is nearly here. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Let's do this. Anyways, we just gotta hold Diaz off until then. Alright. Alright, I'll take that. Oh, actually. Thank you. Oh, is that the Gutral tribe? That's probably what that is. Over there. Pumped for this. Let's go. Attack 
There's a lot of damn ballistas around. Jesus. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. I didn't know that we needed to. That's fine. Oh, come on. I couldn't run into the ballista. What the heck was that about? It didn't let me run into the ballista. There you go. That was annoying. One ballista left. All right, we can do this. He played. the middle one uh g fire g fire the middle one why not these guys around. Poison me? Really? Ooh, these guys are tough. This kind of sucks. Okay. You know what? Um, what I'll do is first we gotta get that off of me. And then we're going to change. Ow. Let them go. We'll take the hits. That's fine. I want some all-out attacks coming their way. Now we should be good. G fire. G fire. Double slash. Attack. Double slash. G fire. Double slash. Attack. Double slash. Attack. Oh my god, one. Okay. So they've, they've pretty much cut off magic power. We should still be able to kill him, though, right? Oh, no. Damn it. I changed too fast. Oh, that sucks. All right. All right. They're both weak, though, which is fine. 
So you're dead. Oh, you're not. Never mind. Oh, you guys just helped me out there. Thank you for that. Hi, Colonel Diaz. The blisters deployed to the east have been destroyed as well. What? That Garland. He's suspiciously skilled for an ex-mercy. The enemy will soon be at our base. Your order, sir. No more parlor games. We'll intercept them here. Reinforce the perimeter guard. Sir. Is that all of them? I believe so. All right. Let's get back to Garland and the others. All right, ballista's gone. Let's get out of here. All right. We brought that second mana crystal just for this moment. So get everyone healed. Are you ready? And you know what? I'm not ready yet. Let me save it too. Let's go. Here they are. What are you doing? Why haven't these sickness infidels been dealt with? If they break through here, they'll gain enough momentum to proceed to Granol. We must hold the line. What? Reporting. Hi, Colonel Diaz. There's something coming this way. What? Sir Diaz. No. Garland has played us with fools. Damn, all those little uh, sandstorms. Ah, uh, his those two protected him. Sir Diaz. You're right, High Colonel. At Garland. This was his aim from the outset. Hmm. That's right. Some advice. If you're going to fight on someone else's turf, <laughs> do your research first. I can't believe I was taken in so. Trail of your homeland was grand just enough for one day, princess. I cannot tolerate my stepmother's tyranny any longer. So you intend to take her place? In the sun. I'll show you the folly of taking that token of me. I, I judge from the current state of affairs that we are at a disadvantage. We must retreat for now to devise our next operation. We will carry out the rest. Very well, Alphonse. I leave this in your capable hands. It's payback time, Palomides. You in the red. I feel as though we've met before. It's the strangest feeling. Uh-oh. Stock? Have you ever fought him before? Yes. It was a while ago. But the executioner taught me a valuable lesson, but it won't happen twice. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't know how, but I can sense you are an opponent not to be taken lightly. I must defeat you at all costs. Let our battle begin. I won't lose. All right, so Palomides and, and Gardner. Clearly, we're going to go after Gardner first, because I feel like that's the best bet. 
for us to do. Yeah, see, yeah, especially since he, if he's gonna do buffs and stuff like that, that's gonna annoy me. Uh, let's let's go with the speed break, Gardener. Uh, let's change with you. We're gonna have to just tank this guy's hits for a little bit. Um, can you poison him? Try it. Yes, that worked. Okay. I want to build up some some momentum here. Some people. Uh, you two change. So you can get a heal off on yourself. Change with her. So we can poison Gar uh, Palomides as well. Um, for now. Okay. That'll do for now. Attack wise, at least. Uh... Ow, ow. It's annoying. I keep losing signal. I think my wires might be dying out. I don't understand why it keeps doing this. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Where am I at? They got me all turned around. All right, all right. We're trying to go for him, though. Gardener first. So double slash. Airy heal everyone. Double slash. Try G fire. I don't know if it'll work on him. Right now, stock is the main damage dealer to that dude, though. Go for it. Yeah, it didn't take much. Curse? What? Why are you throwing status ailment stuff on us now? How's this fair, Gardner? Crusade. Jesus. Now, will all recovery work? Yes, it does. Right. Ow. Power rise. Ooh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Full charge. Ooh. That's why I didn't like that. Break his turn. Bring her back. We gotta start some heals. Nothing but heals right now. So you bring her back. Stock use a healing fruit. Crusade. Ow, ow. Jesus. It's cause he buffed him. That buff is what's killing us right now. I hate these guys. I really do. Go for that. I'll you. And hope that Gardner gets killed. Oh, damn it. Of course. Of course not. Oh my gosh. He's the problem with his buffs. 
Alright, give that to you. I gotta get rid of him. I hate this. I gotta get rid of him. And then he's gonna curse us. Of course he's gonna curse us. Why wouldn't he? All recovery. That's Gardner going next, right? He doesn't have that many strong hits, so I can risk going after him. Double slash. Alright, he's down. Back up now. You are buffed though, which is a little bit annoying. But we'll deal with as we see fit. Alright, alright. He's not taking as much now. So I think we're good. Oh, yeah, we're definitely good. Gardner. I mean, not Gardner. Palomitas. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Double slash it up. Let's do this. Do I need an area heal? I probably do. But I want to go all out. I really do. Ten hits coming his way. I'm ready for this. I'll Okay. Let's go. Come on, we gotta kill him. Yeah, stock's getting a lot of hits in right there. No, no, no healing. Oh, I hate him so much. He's got so much defense. But we're, we're getting him down. attack because you don't deserve one but I'll give him it back I just wanted his turn ow <laughs> that probably made no sense to do but whatever whatever all right it happens
It's looking horrible for him. Jeez, he does have some defense behind him because he still hangs on by like one inch of his life. Die already. Damn. We beat him. The dreaded executioner Pelamides. My strength is fading. I see. I'm already. What in the? He turned into sand. So he was affected by the Black Chronicle's power too. Exactly how far does its power reach? Oh crap! What's wrong, Rainy? Diaz is gone. He got away. We couldn't help it. Our hands were full dealing with Palamedes. Dia's knights were fierce opponents, but we have won the day. It's a shame that their leader escaped. But I never know what kind of ambush he'll have left for us along his escape route. No, we should return to the castle and prepare ourselves for the next battle. Indeed, I couldn't agree more. Then let's hurry and treat our wounded. Once that's done, we'll return to sickness. Days later, after the battle, tension between Cygnus and Granarg heightened immensely. Granarg saw the incident as an act of war. A full-scale clash between the two countries was drawing near. Wondering if this may have been a mistake? If you hadn't met me or Erika, you might not have found yourself an enemy of Granarg. That's ridiculous. I'm set in my ways. This would have happened before long, regardless. Plus, it's not such a bad thing to have Princess Erika owe my nation a debt of gratitude. I'll be repaid in kind after she's coronated Queen of Granor. I'm sure. I see. I have a favor to ask. Will you take care of Erika and Aunt? What do you mean? We're planning to march into Granor by ourselves. Hey now, what's this about? The keys to this coup are the three major figures of Granork, Queen Protea, Count Selvon and his assembly, and military leader Diaz. If they need to be dealt with, then the three of us can handle it ourselves. We won't go looking for fights. All we need is backup to help get us in the door. It'll help keep your casualties to a minimum as well. I see your point. But sneaking into the castle? That's too risky. Not necessarily. That's what we've been trained to do. Remember that Princess Erika will be ruling Granorg in the near future. When you consider that, we can't bring her along in good conscience. As for Ott, she has no reason to be involved in this. Still. There's no point trying to stop us. We do this kind of thing all the time. Then I'll come too. I can't just let you all... If you're gone, who will unify Sickness? You really won't reconsider. I believe this to be the best way. Thanks for everything. Please look after the princess. Ridiculous.
Hey guys, where are you going? Oh, she found us. Ott, go back to Erica. Nuh-uh. I'm gonna go wherever you go, Stock. You can't. I don't want you following us around. Our mission this time really is a hazardous one. That's why we three are the only ones who are going. You understand, don't you? We'll make sure to come back for you once the job's done. Sorry, Ott. <laughs> and she's coming anyway. We've still got a little shadow. Turn back. Nothing good can come of you traveling with us. That's not true. It's not. I only want to be with you, Stock. Ah. <laughs> All right. I understand. You don't need to cry. <laughs> Not very gentlemanly of you, leaving a little. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> Erica, why are you here? King Garland told me everything. Stock, you're too self-centered. I know I sought your help, but I never intended for you to do all the work. This isn't just a matter of governance, about who will be the one to succeed the throne. It concerns the extermination of this entire continent. It affects everyone of all races. So tell me, why do you insist on carrying such a tremendous burden yourself? We're on your side. You can lean on us more than you have been. All right, Ott, Erica, we'll go together. I really don't know why they just they, they keep trying. I mean, we're not going to get rid of them. Uh, in that case, could we stop by the desert town of Scala up ahead? I'm supposed to meet someone there. Who would that be? There's no need to worry. You can trust them. If we can gain their cooperation, we'll have quite an advantage against Granorg. There'll be no need for that. We're going to assassinate Protea. Once the three key figures, Protea included, are eliminated, the war will be over. That won't do. Even if the Queen is assassinated, nothing will change by acting in secret. All they have to do is claim that her health prevents her from appearing, and we gain nothing. Worse, if those three were to die, others would soon take their place. The status quo would remain. To prevent that, we must fight in plain sight so that the people will know who the victor is. I see. Erica is keeping a sound perspective on all this. For a better tomorrow, it may be necessary to do this the, the hard way. All right. The desert town of Scala it is. Let's get moving. You, you to keep up the good let us now, just in case. Chapter 6, Revolution! Oh, we're already at the hour mark again. I did not even notice. Jesus. Hmm. Scala, right? Hey, do you... Mark and I were taken to Scala. Right! That's where Rainy beat the daylights out of that weird guy. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we passed through this wasteland on our way from Scala to Cygnus, so I know the way. It's directly north from here. All right, let's go. I kind of want to get to Scala before we uh, end this. Okay. At least. He's probably already waiting for us. Let's hurry. Oh? 
Excuse me, but haven't we met? Hello. It's me, Tarkin. Remember? You rescued me in Lansville Hill. You do remember. You're the bomb merchant who was being attacked by the Desert Crows. Yes. That's me. Thank you so much for saving me back there. That reminds me. Didn't you tell us you had a shop in Scala? That's correct. I sure did. I'd like to think it's fate that's brought us together. So come by my shop if you have the time. Yes. I'll have something special for you guys. Thanks. Something special? Stop, let's go! Come on, Rainy, we can't. You remember why we're here, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> she was so sad. Well, he invited us, so I'm sure we can make time. Yes. Well, Please then. do. I'll be inside, so drop in when you can. Okay. Um, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're in Scala now. Uh, we'll head to the meeting area next time. Is this his shop? This is his shop. Sand sword. Ooh, I needed that. For uh, the other guy. Oh, if you only knew, this sword's edge is beyond compare. It's actually a traditional Cygnus weapon. The sand sword. Its unique shape is what gives the blade unrivaling cutting power. I don't think I have the skill to wield this blade. It seems difficult to use. I think I remember Will saying he wanted one of these. Will is that strange swordsman who is in the resistance, right? But he's already... Should we lay it on his grave? No. We're going to use it to release him from the grave. I must change the past. I'll accept this sword. I know a man who would be able to put it to use. If I get the chance, I'll make sure he gets it. Yes. That's good. When a good sword finds a good user, that's well, the best. Well then, I'll go back to my right. work. So that's a quest we need to dish out for sure. So we can bring Will back. Um, well. Like I said though guys, I'm going to end it here. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, I'm not tackling the side missions quite yet. Um, I kind of want to get to chapter 6 on each oh, side before nice. I decide to do so. Uh, but... Next time, we will go talk to whoever this person is in, at the inn that she wants us to meet. So I will see you then. Bye!